Iman here from Design by Iman. Today we're here in Mississauga, Ontario, and we're here at my client's home. This couple bought this home. It was a complete gut job, and we completely renovated it, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like. Before, when you walked into this home, it honestly looked like your grandmother's house. The entryway tile had small tile floors, orange railings, and dated popcorn ceilings. On the right, there was a living and dining room, but it felt really long and narrow. To add to the problems, they had yellow walls and pink carpets throughout, and we knew that something drastic needed to be done. The layout was very typical for the 70s, but now families just aren't living that way, and my clients really wanted to make it feel more open and inviting. To start with, we looked at the layout to see how it could be revamped. We had two walls that were in the main part of the house that we were hoping to remove. After walking our contractor through the space, we were given the go ahead to open up both walls, which made it easier for us to implement our desired floor plan. We decided to position the kitchen on the far right top corner of the home, which allowed for a more open space in the middle for a dining area. We kept the living space on the opposite side of the home from the kitchen while taking advantage of the existing fireplace. Right next to the entryway, the formal and dining living room were really long, so we decided to close those off. The new room at the front of the house is a main floor office, which is so helpful for anyone working from home. Another change was adding a back kitchen or back pantry to the home, which really made the home feel so much more functional. A lot of my clients find that their kitchen just can't seem to stay clean. In order to remedy this problem, we really wanted to have small appliances, a microwave dishwasher and a sink for cleaning in the back to allow for a clean main kitchen area when entertaining. My client's intention was to only stay here for a few years, so it didn't make sense to spend an insane amount of money that they'd never get back. As a result, we did have to make some concessions. For example, in the entryway, we couldn't change the overall structure of the stairs, but we were able to swap out the old railings for more modern ones. Coming into the home, the entryway is so much more open. We've gone with herringbone floors. You can see we no longer have those unsightly yellow walls, which have been given a fresh and clean white coat of paint. As mentioned, we have these new railings along with piano, white and black stairs. We now have enough room for a nice console table. Furthermore, we swapped out the door swing so that when you're entering the home, you're looking at the console table as opposed to opening it into the closet. Before, the powder room had a really long laminate vanity, a balloon style valence on the window and a small round mirror. It just looks super dated and we really wanted to give it a fresh look. We went with an irregular form mirror in the middle of the wall, which was on top of this crazy black and gold wallpaper. For the countertop, we chose an oversized thick material to house a new undermount sink. We wanted to play with different materials and textures to make this space less uniform. Lastly, we added a suspended towel holder for an element of interest and uniqueness. Overall, I think the space is surprising and exciting when you first walk in. The laundry room before had a really old style cabinet, tiling and wallpaper. It was screaming for an update. By adding access to the garage, the laundry room has been converted into a mud room, which makes it way more functional for this new family. We've added shelving, interesting wallpaper and a countertop and sink, which makes washing clothes so much easier. Our formal living room is now replaced with a brand new office. When you enter, there's a glass door, geometric wallpaper. It's now ready for finishing touches and overall is a great space to do your work and look outside. Now the living room feels a lot more open. We added oversized porcelain on the wall and a curved cutout for the fireplace. These beautiful sconces and black texture on the fireplace really add something extra to make it feel special. And the space is now ready for their oversized TV. We decided to match the sconces in the living room with the brand new dining room light fixture. It now feels so connected. We actually added seven of them and each have their own kind of receptacle. This room is now perfect for their new table, which fits a large gathering of 12 people. Before the kitchen was in the middle of the house and now we've pushed it to the back of the house. 
We've gone ahead with the same tiles and black detailing from the fireplace to give it some consistency. We've also added on the hood fan and the underside of the island, the black detailing, which gives it a well-balanced and more inviting feel. When you turn the corner, you can actually see the pantry, which has a really cool wood detailed backsplash and is perfect for their pantry items and small appliances and to just hide all the mess. Overall, the home feels so much more inviting and larger because of eliminating these two walls. It really makes such a difference. My clients are so happy with the space. They're excited to move in with their new furniture and to bring all their friends over to entertain in this brand new space. Thanks for watching.